click OK. This is a CSV, stands for Command Separated Value Format, right? It's a text file, and it separates each data value with a comma, okay? So oftentimes when you do data analysis and download data from some database, you get text file, and in all situations they give you the CSV right, data file, okay? So I download it, so I'm going to open it. I click Data. Import data from text file. It's a text file. <coughs> and uh, I'm going to uh, remove the NA because my data may have some blanks. Okay? If you have blanks and they are categorical data, it will be considered as a blank. It is okay if you don't care about the blank, but I do care about the blank because I want to do confidence in the estimation. And it's comma-separated values. So I use comma as a separator. So you've got to change that in this one. And I click OK. Ah, uh, this is going to overwrite my data. Hold on. Let me change the data set. 500, OK. And then, so comma, click OK. Hope I got the data. Import it. Where is the data? Here. That's the data, OK. Then I'm going to look at the data. OK, so this is my data. Actually, this is data from a website. We probably don't have time to play with it today. I download a random sample of 500 subjects from the uh, 11th grader, 11th grader right, in U.S., who uh, actually completed a survey in the census. Okay? So they are male, they are female, they are people that are right handed and left handed, they are people who actually, uh, let me see. I want to see if there's other, uh, there are some other yes and no question maybe. I'd like to see yes and no to do an estimation for proportion. Uh, I don't see any, huh? Do you see any yes or no? Okay, here. I have vegetarian, uh, whether you are vegetarian or not, allergy, whether you have any allergy or not for food, for anything, okay? So I got these are binary. So I can click statistic, proportion, single sample proportion <coughs> test, and I got gender binary, allergies binary, vegetarian binary. So let's say I want to estimate those who are uh, vegetarian, okay? You can click vegetarian and click OK. They give you the confidence interval estimate for it. Uh, they actually give you hypothesis testing, right? Let me do this. Proportion, single proportion. Now, in the old version, if you click on option, you see some option for hypothesis testing, right? Older version actually have this right underneath here. So if you look at my R instruction page, the option tab, if you click on it, that's under the data. But I don't know why that John Fox changed that. I created another tab. And so for testing hypothesis, it was placed here, okay? It's 95% confidence interval. Okay, and using normal approximation. Testing for proportion equal to 0.5 or not. Now, we haven't talked about testing hypothesis for proportion, but we did do the confidence interval, right? So this way actually give you the confidence. Oops, I'm sorry, I didn't change. I choose I, vegetarian. It gave you the confidence into estimate for percentage of vegetarian, which is 95.45 to 98.48, okay? But... This is done using a formula that is unbiased, do unbiased estimation, okay? This doesn't give you the exact outcome from what we learn in our class, okay? What we learn in our class, if you go to my website, what happened? It doesn't tell me there. Let me just go G chain. Okay. From my website, if you click on this uh, inference for proportion, one proportion, you look at this video. Oops. Sorry, let me click. Let me stop it. Okay. There is a Bing cough, that's binary confidence interval function in R that actually uses the uh, 
formula that we learn in our class to do the confidence interval estimation. And in order to do that, you just have to run this function, right? This number will be actually a number of people who are vegetarian, and this number will be the sample size, okay? In fact, I think we can use this to help us to uh, solve the problem that we just solved in the class, right? The problem that we did in our class, let's see this one. We have 170 respondent yes out of 300 people, okay? You want to do confidence into an estimate for proportion of people who ate dinner up to eight, okay? You can, we can do that, all right? So let's, uh, let's go to the, and uh, however, to run this, you, you need to have package H misc, right? So Bing cough, a binary confidence interval function, is in this package. So you, you want to see whether H misc is in there. Just like when you write R commander, whether you want to see whether R commander is in there or not, right? So what you do is go back to R console, click package, low package, right? There's that H misc, okay? Click OK that package is, is in there, okay? And actually, usually you see that, that means in there. Then you can run this function, in fact. Uh, just bin conf, binary confidence interval, and type in, what was it, 100 and, we're talking about 170 out of the 300, right? And you want to type method equal to parenthesis pro asin Tick, absentotic, double quote, hit it, enter. Uh, something is wrong. What did I miss? Methods equal to asim. I uh, misspell. Okay. <laughs> miss a P. Okay. Okay, we got it, right? So you have to type it, type correctly, right? So you have the counts, 170 out of the 300 who did not have dinner earlier, and then choose this method. Of course, there are other methods to choose, right? You just choose that method. This will give you the exact thing that we learned in our class. So that gives you 0.56667, and lower bound is 51%, upper bound is 62%. Is that the same as what we got? Yeah, that's uh, very close to what we got, right, from our, from our calculation, right? So in the assignment, there is one question like that. And I do like you to, to play with this, okay? So that you kind of know actually how to also write an R command, right? R script or R program to do some analysis. In fact, it'll be great if some of you can start picking up these R command, right? These uh, R programming, right? Uh, it'll be very helpful. It'd make your job more flexible. Sometimes the R commander is, it has a fixed list of functions for you to use. In case in the future you want to do something else that R commander doesn't have, then you can actually use, just go through what I did here, right? Similar to this, to write the R code to do the job.